today let's understand marketing research कोई भी एक प्रोडक्ट को अगर अगर प्रॉपरली उसका आउटपुट चाहिए वेदर इट इन सेल्स वेदर इट इन सर्विस इसके लिए हमको प्रॉपर मार्केटिंग रिसर्च की जरूरत है बिना रिसर्च के कोई काम का होता नहीं है और रिसर्च ऐसे नहीं कि हमने बोल दिया चलो आज एक प्रोडक्ट के बारे में पता लगा लेते हैं नहीं वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड कि कोई भी प्रोडक्ट के लिए उसका वायबिलिटी उसका मार्केटिंग पोटेंशियलिटी कस्टमर्स क्लाइंट कस्टमर्स वगैरह होना भी जरूरी है इज नॉट जस्ट ये प्रोडक्ट उठा लिए और हमने एक दुकान में रख दिया और बोल दिया कि सारे सेल हो जाओ नहीं होता जावेद मंत्र थोड़ी थोड़ी मैंने कई कई जगह पे क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशंस भी होती है कई कई जगह पे डिफरेंट टेस्ट डिफरेंट वेरिएशंस रहती है एक प्रोडक्ट अगर उसका यूटिलिटी एंड यूज नहीं है डिफरेंट मार्केटिंग सेल्स इज डिफरेंट मार्केटिंग इज डिफरेंट Sell means you are selling something, but market means you are putting the product into the into an area through various modes, various media you know, would be making people aware of the product. Okay, this is the product, and these are the features of it. These are the USP of it. These are the requirements of the people. Require the requirements, and based on the requirements and all. Company designs the products, launches the products into the market for the end users to use for the regular basis for the for could be for anything. So, like let's say cars, let's say mobile phones. Mobile phone is a end-to-end -end user requirement because today all communications mode are based on the phones. Ah, uh, basically on a smartphone, you can access mail. You can the uh, uh, you can go through YouTube also. You can ah uh, use YouTube to uh, acquire knowledge, know more about the products and all. So then Insta is Instagram is there, Facebook is. You know, overall, if you look into it, you are having a marketing presence of it. Marketing, you are pro marketing a product into the market for the requirement of others. And based on that, companies ah uh, design the sales strategies, sale planning, and all. Basically, if you look into it, there are class, uh, there are many types of researchers also. So, if, for any good thing, we need to have a proper research on that to understand the scope and properly. There are many types of, uh, let's say, before we understand, let's understand what is marketing. So, marketing research is a systematic process which can be applied to a variety of marketing challenges and problems. The main objective of marketing research is to identify those key elements of the marketing mix. Which have a direct impact on the behavior and attitude of the customer. The aim of marketing research is to recognize, evaluate how changing elements of the marketing mix affect the behavior of the customer. The objective of marketing research is to provide the facts that decision makers requires to make sound decisions. Marketing research also helps to provide to providing information to identify the marketing needs in the slm so what we thought is just a simple thing that are use a product in the market and uh, and then as the customer will know until the customers use what is the, what are they going to use is it going to be a uh, necessity that they would be using it in some way or the other so 
keeping on that strategies and all, keeping on that planning and all, companies market the products. And today, if you are looking at high definition, high definition products coming, like five G, four G, um, let's say, uh, let's say, the advanced laptops and all. Why it is coming? Because it's a need of the consumer. It's need of the uh, market. So it's the need of the consumer. Therefore, the products are being launched in based on the demand. And going ahead, we'll also understand what is data processing, what is data analysis and data interpretations. We'll cover it in detail and applications of marketing research and recent trends in the marketing research along with various case studies. So what would we also be doing is explaining to how to plan a research process. We'll also describe the research design, analyze various sources of data collection methods, illustrate designing of a questionnaire, and elucidate the sampling theory along with the size, techniques, and designs. We'll also examine the hypothesis testing, examine the data interpretations and report writing, and identify certain trends in the marketing research. Then we'll understand what is marketing research dynamics, how to plan the research process, how to plan the research designs, the data collection sources and methods. And also we'll be understanding designing a questionnaire, measurement and scaling techniques, sampling theory, design, size and techniques, hypothesis testing, data processing and preliminary data analysis. Then we'll also understand data analysis one, data analysis two, and data interpretation and the most important report writing. And also apart from this, we'll also understand the application of marketing research one. We'll again understand the application of market research two and recent trends and developments in the marketing research. So this was an introduction of what we are going to understand in the marketing research. And thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot.